So as we mentioned here at the top of the show, South Carolina's abortion ban could become even stricter. The ad hoc committee on abortion presenting a draft of a bill that would ban most abortions in the state. And you'll remember that right now abortions in South Carolina are legal up until that fetal heartbeat is detected, which is around six weeks. Today, the 12 member committee met for the second time since Roe v. Wade was overturned. Its chairman says the committee consulted the general public, legal experts and health professionals before writing the draft. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva in Columbia with all those details tonight. And the draft does not include exceptions for victims of rape or incest, but it does allow an abortion in a case where a mother's life is on the line. Now this meeting sparking protests outside of the state house. Abortion legal! Keep abortion legal! As members of South Carolina's ad hoc committee on abortion presented a draft banning abortions, outside protesters and counter protesters spoke their mind. Among them, a woman who tells us, as a physician, this law would put her between a rock and a hard place. I shouldn't have to worry about the legal consequences of doing the medically appropriate procedure on a patient. That shouldn't be a concern that I have. I believe that life is the most basic human right and no one should have the right to end another person's life just because of their location, their size, or if they see them as valuable or not. The draft presented today lists specific conditions that threaten a mother's life and qualify her for an abortion. But there are no exceptions for victims of rape. To kill an innocent pre-born child will never erase the criminal act. But what it will do is turn one tragedy into two tragedies. Chairman John McCravey says birth control and IVF treatments are protected under the bill. The Democrats on the committee, who are in the minority, argued against the draft and the implications it will have on women. I've talked to numerous doctors who are facing real life situations already. They have to decide whether they want to go to jail or be sued if they care for their patients. This is an incredibly impossible position. Now, under this draft, a woman who gets an abortion will not be prosecuted, but a doctor performing the treatment can be. The bill heads to the Judiciary Committee next and will then be heard by the House. In Columbia, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.